Okay, I'm going to get some keys in now, <clears throat> just to complement the bass line. What I've done is Logic's got a fantastic chord maker called Chord Trigger, <clears throat> and in there you've got loads of settings, major sevens, major sevens, augmented, blah, 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 blah. Um, tend to find the seven nines pretty decent for kind of that moody sort of atmosphere on these kind of tracks. And what I've done is I've loaded the vintage organ from Logic, gone through a few sounds, and this is quite cool. So obviously when I'm playing, it's giving me the chords. So let's have a little jam and see if I can come up with something. Sounds pretty good, so what I'll do is I'll play that over an 8-bar. And I'll just vary the last bit. that out. Slant in some of the notes. And I'll just take some bottom end out of that. Okay, that's sounding all right. I'm just going to give it its own space. I'm going to try a little bit of a stereo spread on it. bottom end I think and try a bit of reverb sometimes try a little bit of delay or echo I should say and we could flick that on as we go along so I'll stick the latch on bit better. <clears throat> put that back to read and put the automation view on. There we go. Got a bit weird at the end there, so I'll just bring that back and have a quick listen. <laughs> I 
Okay, so I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm just going to see if it actually goes with our vocal or elements of it. Soon as I was ready, he stopped me. And now it seems as if he's forgotten me. What will I do? I can't live without you. Yeah, it kind of works in a sort of relative key kind of way, which I quite like. It doesn't sort of... It sits edgily, which I kind of want for this track. You know, I want it to be quite dark. Um, just kind of dark on the dance floor, really. So, yeah, happy with the organ. Um, let's move on to some effects. <laughs> 